In this demo, I'm going to show the identity integration that we've built as part of the ODA component model. One of our goals was to change the vertically integrated application approach where most software vendors will include identity management within the application scope to a model where components master roles but use a common identity service that's provided by the canvas and shared by all components. In the Open Digital Lab, we're using Keycloak as an open source identity management solution, but you can choose to use any identity management solution you wish. In Vodafone, we'll be using the Microsoft Azure Active Directory service for identity management. And the thing which links them together is a set of Kubernetes operators following the Kubernetes operator pattern. These are pieces of software running in your canvas which examine the metadata for each component and then automatically configure all the non-functional services. So when I deploy a component and it's exposing some role information, the operator will take that and configure the identity service. If I show the Keycloak user interface, this is showing the list of clients that Keycloak is managing. And there's a set of default clients which is part of the base install. When I deploy my component, I'd expect it to show up as a client for Keycloak. So let me go and do that. I'm just going to use Helm to install an instance of my product catalog. So when I install that, I can just check on the status of my installation. And it'll take a minute to go through all the deployment stages. Let me check again on the status of the deployment and now the deployment is showing as being complete. So if I go back to the Keycloak user interface and refresh, I should see my component listed as a client for Keycloak. There it is. And if I go into here, as part of the standard, it should create a bootstrap role. So I look in the roles for this client. There's my admin, which is a bootstrap role. And it should also have created a bootstrap user against this admin role. There it is. And here's my bootstrap user. The idea is now that component is mastering the roles. And if I go and create any roles in the component, it will automatically synchronize those roles into Keycloak. But here is where the operations will actually then allocate users against roles and they can do it in a single console and they can do it for all components. It's a much simpler architecture these components aren't managing identities themselves, they're just managing roles. Finally, I'll just describe how the authentication works. When an external consumer calls an API, the canvas will authenticate the caller, associate it with a role from the identity service, and pass the authenticated API call to the component. And it's the component's responsibility to understand the permissions associated with that role and to enforce the access control policy. But the idea is the identity management and the authentication process are completely offloaded to the canvas.